They say that grief can lead you to dark places. <laughs> but I'm starting to think they're right. part of the job. I wish I have to go through that. What happened? I'm following the news. It's Jenna Wellesley's parents. A little girl who was murdered. At least they caught the guy. They let him go. What? It's complicated. It's a lie. It's not complicated. It's wrong. Plain and simple. The law works against us. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. So, what are you doing? Um, studying. Oh, that's shocking. Even on your birthday, you're studying. I know, right? Who would have thought law school would be so much work? I wish I could be there today. Me too. I miss you. I miss you too. But I'll see you on the 24th. Good. Can't wait to see you. Hello? So, uh, what time is your family getting there? Um, pretty soon, I think. I'm just waiting to hear from them. Okay, well, I'll let you go. Tell them I said hi, and um, I'll just, I'll, I'll call you later, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> so what's the verdict? Uh, he didn't suspect a thing. I should be an actress. <laughs> you definitely have a flair for the dramatic. Dad! You'll have to excuse my husband. Someone told him he was funny once. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Come on. Can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for David. Are you another reporter? No, just a friend. I've been trying to get in touch with him, but I, I just haven't been able to reach him. Well, he cleared out a few days ago. You don't happen to know where he went, do you? I'm sorry, I promised David I wouldn't tell anyone. No, no I understand. Um, if you talk to him, could you tell him that Jason stopped by and it'd be good to hear from him? Of course, I'll let him know. Thanks. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think he did it? Honestly, I don't know. He was always very nice to me, but sometimes people just aren't what they seem. Are you too close? Yeah. Well, we used to be. Anyway, um, I should go. Wait.
So what did you get him? Oh, here, take a look. Wow. Follow next. Tell your brother we'll be there in 20 minutes. Oh my god, look. Voicemail. Oh, hey, remember, I'm not here. Okay. You have one new voice message. Hi, Max. Happy birthday. Dad says we'll be there in 20 minutes. And Dad also says answer your phone. But, you know, that really is like two hours. I can't wait to see you and I still... <laughs> been through a very significant tragedy, Max. And it's vital that you talk to someone, even if it's not me. I get it. You were close with my parents. But they're gone. And I don't need to shrink. There are certain thoughts and feelings that, that accompany this sort of loss. In your case, losses. Now, if you're not ready to talk about it yet, I recommend you try writing it down. Keep a journal. Write down everything and anything that you want to say. Pretend you're writing an autobiography to the world, explaining to them who you are. Can I help you? Do I know you? Okay. Was she your first? What? Jenna Wellesley. Look, I don't know who you are or how you found me. Why don't you take off? You kidnapped and murdered a 10-year-old girl. But somehow that wasn't enough. You had to mutilate her body. Was she your first? You sure you want to do this? Did she? I realize nobody's going to lose sleep over the death of David Shelby. 
let me be clear when I say that vigilante justice will not be tolerated on my watch. Police have positively identified the body of James Till. Till, who was recently acquitted on murder charges, was reported missing 10 days ago. A body was found this morning along a trail in Griffith Park in what appears to be an execution style In a shocking turn of events, Hal Reddington has been found not guilty of first degree murder by reason of insanity. The insanity plea. They say that grief can lead you to dark places. And they're right. I can feel myself slipping. And I'm afraid I might like it.